Hello everyone and welcome to The Pinnacle Jar, a tarot channel for insight on your life. Today's video is all about your love life in the month of April. We're going to look at some common themes for you in your love life. We're going to look at what will happen as well as some advice. So when you're ready, pick your group, go down the timestamp below and I'll talk to you soon. Hello group one, let's find out what will happen with your love life in April. Let's see, your cards are... The three of earth, eight of air, eight of fire, temperance, the world, five of swords, king of cups, the devil, and we'll put your advice aside for now. But what we have here, so the theme of April with your love life is all about togetherness for you. A big part of it is also restriction. There is a phase, like you know, there's a phrase, like birds of a feather flock together, which is basically saying that people often spend time and are friends and such with people like them. That is important for this next month in you to surround yourself with people that are similar to you, um, similar to your interests, even romantic partners, similar morals, that kind of thing. Um, it's not really about really trying like someone new and completely different. And the reason that's important is because that is where the real passion and joy will lie this month. Not in the different, but in the similar. In really being around someone that gets you. Let's look at what will actually happen. So we almost have a bit of rebellion, uh, rebellion from you. Um, we spoke about the theme and being around other people like you. And in April, I don't see you really doing that. Uh, and sometimes themes are like lessons in a way. I see you talking to and spending time with potential romantic partners that are very different than you and trying to make it work. And they're good people. You know, I don't see them as negative or anything. Uh, but opposites, attra opposites attract, while you might try it, won't work, at least this month. I see it coming to an end about halfway through the month. Not a bad ending, kind of like, oh, I guess we really don't work as much as I want us to feeling. Um, maybe even a few of you will choose to be friends with them after. But the month ends with this sense of defeat, this feeling of you know, lack of luck. But you will talk to some love interest and they're good people. It just wouldn't work for you. A factor that could affect your love life this month is the devil. Um, it's this idea of really feeling like you need to make things work with someone, not out of loneliness, more out of pressure you put on yourself to put more of yourself out there and give people chances, even if you feel they might not be a good fit for you. Friends might also kind of be saying, you know, when are you going to date someone? And, you know, what don't you like about this person? We want you to be happy. And that pressure combined can affect the people you give time to. But let's look at some advice. Your advice is temperance. Five of fire, Kinandera of water, and your oracle card is albatross. So if you're someone this month who is trying to let go of an old love, the advice here is to be in the moment. Right, the past, looking through old photos, keeping in touch when you don't have to, asking mutual friends what they're up to. Those aren't healthy, and they won't serve you well here. Be in the moment, be present, which means they aren't there. Remind yourself of that and try to find some things you really enjoy on your own. Not past couple things, um, but things like you can really do by yourself um, and do those. Some advice on how and where to find love. Something exciting, something memorable and fast-paced um, is a good way to meet someone. Safe places, of course, during the pandemic, but something that allows regular engagement um, from both parties. So, for example, even a dating app, they all work a bit differently. Some only one person can like initiate, right? And the other has to wait. Um, some of you, um, some have like a set amount of time to engage um, before like the match would disappear. Like even if you're talking to them, they're like, we want you to pay extra if you want to keep things going or you have to exchange contact information. Um, pick something that allows the most freedom for you. Um, now is not the time to kind of lay low and hope someone just comes to you. If you're someone who... You know, you found yourself in a position where you kind of have multiple partners to choose from and you're like, I only want to be with one. The advice there is, where's that emotion, that depth, that tension, even from being vulnerable with someone, that real connection is the partner for you. 
not necessarily about who is the most fun. Uh, you want to ask yourself, who really gets me? Who am I communicating with? And it's like they care about what I'm saying. Um, there's a difference between the person that says, oh, yeah, I totally get it. And the person that says, oh, I've been there. That must be really hard for you. Who provides the empathy you need is really important. Some final just overall advice for the month is the albatross. Um, are there loose ends? Uh, if so, handle them. That could be people you've sort of strung along knowing you don't want to be with them. It could be a friend that's been saying, oh, I know the perfect person for you. And you've not really said yes or no. Um, but there is this indecision, especially, right? Make those choices. If you're in that position, deal with them. So group one, that is your reading. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up or comment down below. I also make other videos, so make sure you check those out and I'll talk to you next time. Hello, group two. Let's see what will happen with your love life in the month of April. Your cards are five of air, five of water, the moon, knight of swords, sorry, six of pentacles, knight of swords, the hierophant, two of cups, and ten of wands. And we'll put your advice aside for now. But when it comes to the themes for April in your love life, it's reality. Right? We have this period of kind of living in a fantasy in a way. Right? Perhaps being with someone not right for you and hoping and believing um, that they will change. Or especially like if they mistreat you, you're like, oh, they're really going to change. They'll be a better person. We have this realization that we can't keep returning to the same thing and the same people who do not fit us, our beliefs, our lifestyles, things like that. So April will be about getting out of that fantasy or even that insecurity um, if you're someone who just believes they can't do better than a certain type of partner. Let's see what will actually happen. So it looks pretty good. I do see you talking to someone. They're really kind. They're caring. There's a genuine connection. You put forth the effort and I feel like you even just kind of go with it. Like you hop on it immediately and you know they're talking about being more serious and dating exclusively for example you're like okay i'm interested in that you will learn about this other person and really find yourself not only at peace spiritually <clears throat> but also in a position where it feels like you know you want you're like okay this is what a relationship is All right so for example mutual respect it could be romance um, it could be someone who actually wants to talk to you every day Whatever that concept of a healthy relationship is for you, that's the feeling you'll get with this person and what you'll get from that person. A factor that could affect your love life this month is Ten of Wands. Taking on too much, uh, for some of you it's work, like your career. Um, it could also just be this idea that we must do everything we can right now, this second, to the point where the other person does not really have room to breathe um, or just don't have the space to really give it back to you. So keep that in mind. Relationships are a two-way street. Let the other person do the work too. Let's look at some advice. We have the Hermit, Four of Earth, Four of Water, and your Oracle card is the Rufus Bellied Chachalaka. So if you're someone this month who is trying to let go of old love, the advice is self-reflection. Uh, look at what you liked in that relationship and what you did not like. What benefits um, you have of being alone at this time. Being lonely and being alone are different. Right? The hermit has an independent mind as well. Take that time to really understand the relationship, what you had and what you want to avoid, You know, making similar mistakes or avoid a path you don't want to go down again with someone. Some advice on how and where to find love is, in this case it's more how, be a bit selfish. Um, this is less to where to find love, right? But how? There are certain things we like to do. There are certain things we want from someone and from a dating phase and relationship. Take those things. Say what you want. No one to compromise and when you shouldn't. Not everything has to be a compromise. Some things we just need for ourselves and there is no halfway. Um, find out what that is and stick to it. If you're someone who has multiple partners to choose from and you're like, oh, I only want one, some advice there is to look at where you get that settled feeling, right? So I mean more calm emotionally than like love connection. Um, who can you just sit next to like on the sofa or 
on a bench in the park or in a quiet space and still really enjoy their company? Who brings you calm and a sense of peace without words? That kind of thing. Some final advice for the month when it comes to your love life is try to have some fun. Enjoy yourself. This month is about connecting with others, being realistic about what you want in a relationship. Those don't always have to show themselves in super serious ways. Enjoy someone's company. Talk about your hobbies, even if they seem like, you know, a bit geeky or something like that. Be you. Um, Not all love has to feel serious to be serious. So group two, that is your reading. If you liked it, give the video a thumbs up or comment down below. I also make other videos, so make sure you check those out, and I'll talk to you next time. Hello, group three. Let's find out what will happen with your love life in April. Your cards are Curandera of Fire, Death, Five of Earth, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords, and Ten of Pentacles. We'll put your advice aside for now. The theme for this month is all about control for you. Taking your love life into your own hands, especially if you're someone who waits for a partner to come to you or make decisions. Um, If you're the type of person who wants a romance to end but hopes the other person will do it, this month is about you taking control, you saying yes or no. This is important because it really lets you have what you want, not other people. It is also beneficial if you are someone who just has had no luck and love from people you were set up with. It lets you reclaim power in a way. Let's look at what will actually happen. So it'll start with you resisting the theme a bit, you withholding that part of yourself that really wants to branch out and try new things, new people, new dating apps, flirting with someone for a change, things like that. As the month progresses, eventually you will make an effort to seek out a partner that holds more long-term potential, whatever that means to you, okay? To some people, that means marriage. Um, For some, it just means a relationship that lasts at least three months. It depends on what your love life was before. But I do see you talking to some love interests, but it will be very selective. No more, well, maybe they aren't as bad as they seem. No more of that. Um, You will follow your instincts as well as look at the information and the person in front of you to make that choice. There won't be second chances given. The month will end with you completing that phase, kind of this rebirth where you not only know what you want, um, but you can finally say, okay, I've made the first move, I've changed, I've experienced that. Um, I don't see you necessarily committing to one particular person though. A factor that could affect your love life this month is Ten of Pentacles. So that sense of fulfillment and what that means to you. Perhaps even reflect on that. What does the complete package in a sense mean to you? Everyone's view is different. Um, And not having that consistent view and desire um, and sort of flip-flopping on the types of people you want, that could lead to a lot of dissatisfaction this month. So make sure you are like, okay, this is important to me in my love life. This is the kind of person I want. Let's look at some advice. We have Chariot, Kirandera of Air, Ace of Water, and your Oracle card is the Dodo. So if you're someone who is trying to move on from old love this month, the advice is chariot, full steam ahead. Um, The chariot does not look back even when tempted. What can you do to move forward? Ask yourself that question. Is it block them on social media? Is it telling mutual friends or family members not to mention them and how they're doing? Right? It's like if you dated a childhood friend or a high school, you know, neighbor or something like that. And then your family really liked them. And after they're like, oh man, you would not believe what they're doing right now. Sometimes we don't want to hear that. So if you have to say that to your family and friends, decide. You're like, hey, that helps you move ahead. Tell them, hey, I don't really want to hear about what they're doing. Is it putting yourself out there again and dating someone new? Is it therapy? Right. Pick at least one way to move forward and take it without doubt. Some advice on you know, how or where to find love. In this case, be picky. Um, There are some people who want love and they will try any method to find it, anyone to try it, right? They're like, okay, if I want someone, I'll just do all these different things. This month is not about exploration in that way for you. Look at your options, whether it's an app, a hobby, a dating service, and pick a few of those to focus on to find love. 
if you're someone who has multiple partners to choose from and you're like, oh, I really only want one, the advice there is to look at who holds the most potential for an emotional connection, especially in the long term. Now, an emotional connection can be serious and lighthearted. Keep that in mind. Who has the potential to really make you smile and cheer you up when you've had a hard day? Who is open to sharing about themselves? That mutual trust is important too. Some final advice overall for the month is the dodo. Embrace the now. This path you're on might not be what you wanted, um, but some things are necessary. Try not to resist that. Sometimes, no matter what we do, we can't change things. We just have to adapt to our current circumstances. Keep that in mind. You don't have to chase after anyone either. You know, go with the flow in a sense. Be open to meeting new people. Um, but most importantly, just think about what you really want, right? This month is all about control for you. So group three, that is your reading. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up or comment down below. I also make other videos, so make sure you check those out, and I'll talk to you next time.